So you're like a leaf floating down the river. You just have to accept that there's a river and you just float. You don't have to do the this. The thing you. is that the illusion that you are an agent is a construct. Right? What part of that is actually under your control? And I think that our consciousness is largely a control model for our own attention. So we notice where we are looking and we can influence what we are looking, how we are disambiguating things, how we put things together in our mind. Mm -hmm. And uh, the whole system that runs us is this big cybernetic motivational system. So we're basically like a little monkey sitting on top of an elephant and we can prod this elephant here and there to go this way or that way. And we might have the illusion that we are the elephant or that we are telling it what to do. And sometimes we notice that it walks into a completely different direction. And we so didn't set this thing up. It, it just is the situation that we find ourselves in. How much prodding can we actually do of the elephant? A lot. But uh, I think that our uh, consciousness cannot create the motive force. Is the elephant consciousness in this metaphor? <laughs> no, the monkey. Is the consciousness. The monkey is the attentional system that is observing things. There is a large perceptual system combined with a motivational system yeah. that is actually providing the interface to everything. And our own consciousness, I think, is a tool that directs the attention of that system, which means it singles out features and uh, performs conditional operations for which it needs an index memory. But uh, this index memory is what we perceive as our stream of consciousness. But the consciousness is not in charge. That's an illusion. So everything outside of that consciousness is the elephant. So it's the physics of the universe, but it's also society that's outside of your... I would say the elephant is the agent. So there is an environment through which the agent is stomping, and uh, you are influencing a little part of that agent. So uh, can you... Uh, is the agent a single human being? What's what? Which object has agency? That's an interesting question. I think a way to think about an agent is that it's a controller with a set point generator. The notion of a controller comes from cybernetics and control theory. Control system consists out of um, a system that is regulating uh, some value and uh, the deviation of that value from a set point. And it has a sensor that measures uh, the system's deviation from that set point and an effector that can be parameterized by the controller. So the controller tells the effector to do a certain thing. And the goal is to reduce the distance between the set point and the current value of the system. And there's an environment which disturbs the regulated system, which brings it away from that set point. So the simplest case is a thermostat. And the thermostat is really simple because it doesn't have a model. The thermostat is only trying to minimize the set point deviation in the next moment. Mm -hmm. And if you want to minimize the set point deviation over a longer time span, you need to integrate it. You need to model what is going to happen. So for instance, when you think about uh, that your set point is to be comfortable in life, maybe you need to make yourself uncomfortable first. Mm -hmm. right? So you need to make a model of what's going to happen when. And this is the task of the controller, is to use its sensors uh, to measure the state of the environment and the system that is being regulated and figure out what to do. And if the task is complex enough, the set points are complicated enough, and if the controller has enough capacity and enough um, sensor feedback, then the task of the controller is to make a model of the entire universe that it's in, the conditions under which it exists, and of itself. And this is a very complex agent, and we are in that category. Mm -hmm. And an agent is not necessarily a thing in the universe. It's a class of models that we use to interpret aspects of the universe. And we, when we notice uh, the right around us, a lot of things only make sense at the level that we're entangled with them if we interpret them as control systems that make models of the world and try to minimize their own set points. So but the models are the agents. The agent is a class of model. And we notice that we are an agent ourselves. We are the agent that is using our own control model yeah. to perform actions. We notice we... Ch uh, produce a change in the model and things in the world change. And this is how we discover the idea that we have a body, that we are situated in environment and that we have a first person perspective. Still don't understand what's the best way to think of which object has agency with, with respect to human beings. Is, is it the body? Is it the brain? Is it the contents of the brain that has agency? Like what's the actuators that you're referring to? what is the controller and where does it reside? 
or is it these impossible things? Like, because I, I keep trying to ground it to space time, the three dimension of space and the one dimension of time. What's the agent in that for humans? There is not just one. It depends on the way in which you're looking at the thing in which you're framing it. Imagine that you are, um, say, Angela Merkel, and you are acting on behalf of Germany. Then mm -hmm. you could say that uh, Germany is the agent. And in the mind of An Angela Merkel, she is Germany to some extent, because in the way in which she acts, the destiny of Germany changes. There are things that she can change that basically affect the behavior of that nation state. Okay, so it's hierarchies of, to go to another one of your tweets with, uh, I think you were uh, playfully mocking Jeff Hawkins with saying his brains all the way down. So it's like, it's agents all the way down. It's agents made up of agents made up of agents. Like if, if Andrew Merkel is Germany and Germany is made up of a bunch of people and the people are themselves agents in, in some kind of context. And then the people are made up of cells, each individual. So is it agents all the way down? I suspect that has to be like this in, uh, in a world where things are self-organizing. Most of the complexity that we are looking at uh, Everything in life is about self-organization. Yeah. So I think up from the level of life, you have uh, agents. And uh, below uh, life, you rarely have agents because uh, sometimes you have control systems that emerge randomly in nature and try to achieve a set point, but they're not that interesting agents that make models. And because to make an interesting model of the world, you typically need a system that is Turing complete. 